Widower, Part 1 Good afternoon. Hello. <sighs> Irina, what happened? Is Vadik sick? If my son were sick right now, I would be at home with him and not with you on the other side of the city. Please excuse me. Can you help me find some tickets to somewhere far away? I can email it to you if you like. Are you going on vacation soon? Can you step out for a minute? We need to talk. Come on. Um... Go on, Vera, go. I'm sorry. Honey, come here. A thousand I'll apologies. Please excuse me. <laughs> Girls, help me out. Well then, Vadik sent me over here to talk to you. You're frightening me. He didn't say anything to me when I left this morning. What happened? Vadik wants to ask you for a divorce. I don't know what kind of relationship the two of you have. If he can't say it to your face, I don't understand. Vadik wants to break up with me. Yeah, exactly. That's right. To break up and, well, what do you think about that? Well, it's kind of sudden, mm -hmm. you know? We never argue with each other. Well, it's impossible to argue with someone like you, Vera. You're an absolute pleasure to be around. Oh, and by the way, um, how's the cake? Is it good? Is it fresh? Yes, yes, yes. It's very tasty. Mm. It's always fresh baked. And how will he make a living? Thought it doesn't work. That's not nice. We never lived off you, Vera. I have my pension. We rented you our apartment, but now we're going to have to take it back. We're going to move back in. Vadik isn't lazy. He's a creative boy. He's looking for his place in this crazy world. He's experimenting, but you think he's some kind of gigolo. I don't think that. I know he was concerned. Well, you'd be concerned, too, if your spouse was showing resentment, like you do, coming home tired from work, throwing yourself on the couch like you're so dying. So you're telling me the only reason he wants to break up with me is that I come home tired from work? Stop it. Vera, I've already heard all of this. And yes, I'm sure you and Vadik enjoyed all your time together. I mean, am I right? Yes? Right. So... This is not a problem at all. You're quiet, you're young, you don't have any children, and you really have a good job, so I don't see any tragedy in getting a divorce at your age, right? Well, come on, cheer up, say something. <laughs> I'm upset. Well, of course you're upset. Vedic is an extremely good-looking man. And as his loving mother, I'm glad that women are head over heels for him. And by the way, um, here is my son's new love interest. And, uh, well, what do you think of her? She's lovely, right? Take it. Well, please tell Vadik that I wish him all the happiness in the world and good health to you too, okay? Now, if you'll please excuse Wait. me. sit down, <laughs> sit down. Don't you think that I know that this hurts? Vera, it's always, it's always been this way. You put your job first and your husband 22nd. Just try to understand. Do you see where I am going with this? Vera, please forgive me, forgive us both. I tried to persuade my lazy kid, I even, I, I cried about it. It's 
it's this new girl. She said that she absolutely will not date a married man. Oh, well, please excuse me. Please excuse wait, me, Wait, Irina. wait, wait, Vera, Vera, we're, we're gonna come over. We'll see you tomorrow to get our stuff while you're out, while you're at work. We'll leave the keys with the neighbor. Oh, my goodness. He couldn't tell you to your face. He sent his mother. He's just a coward. Was your mother-in-law angry with you? No, not really. She's pretty nice to me. Yes, she is. You're his wife and his housekeeper, all in one. You tell me. Where would he find such an angel? I'm not an angel. My second husband is leaving me. Stop it. You just wait. He's going to come to his senses and come running back to you, begging for forgiveness. Ladies, please go back to work. I'll wash up and meet you there. Go get some rest. There's nobody there. We'll manage fine. Hey, your vacation's coming up soon. What are your plans? Uh, Vadik wanted to go to Spain for a week. <gasps> Vadik <gasps> wanted to go to Spain? What a small request that is. Let his other intelligent women take him. <clears throat> take him to Spain. Vera, go somewhere yourself, huh? Last minute deal. Somewhere by the sea to a nice resort. You'll rest up and you'll feel better. No, no, this is a joke. I'm not gonna stop. Hey, what's your problem? I'll go take care of it. Here. Can you talk like No, no, no. Can you call your manager? Can you call your manager? I I I don't think it's Let me stay here with you. Oh, there now. Here now. Here you are. Here's a candy for you. Thank you. If someone did this to me, I probably would have just died. And you really love him, don't you? I don't know. I thought he needed me, but I guess it turns out that he didn't. And I know I'm hurting right now, but I can't believe he sent his mother to tell me. Vera! Vera, here's your ticket. Your flight's at 8 a.m. tomorrow. Get ready. <laughs> Vera. that book any good? Total crap. Any more questions? Yes, several. Tell me, gorgeous, why are you so upset today? Young man, don't waste your precious time. It won't work. Go find someone more cheerful. Good talk. Miss, you are so beautiful, you took my breath away. I just saw you and... I got it, you're not interested. Hey, miss! Hello. Hi. What's your name? Alia, but my mom calls me Gopher. What's your name? My name's Vera. And how old are you, Gopher? I'm six, then I'll be seven, eight, nine, and ten. I can't count further yet. <laughs> what about you, miss? How old are you? Well, I'm much older than ten. Why were you being so rude to that guy? He kept me from reading my book. Am I bothering you? No, no, of course not. Have a seat. You're interesting to talk to. My dad also says that I'm an interesting person, too. <laughs> you have such a funny pom-pom. Oh, Mom! Hi! Are you already making friends? Hello. <laughs> Come on, help me. Hello. I'm Elena, this kid's mother. Vera. Nice to meet you. Help yourself, please. Thank excuse you very me. much. Oh, excuse me. Hello. Yes, Boris, hi. All's well. The weather's beautiful, yeah. Oh, really? By the way, he's already flirting with girls on the beach. <laughs> uh -huh. Well, your faithful wife was in line for ice cream. <laughs> Do you want to talk to him? Okay, here you go, it's your dad. Dad, Dad, hello! Uh, we're gonna move closer to you. Let me help you. I met her myself. Her name is Vera. 
She's kind of rude, but she's also nice. He's talking about me. <laughs> Dad, Dad, sorry I have to go, or they're going to eat all the goodies without me. Here, ice cream needs time to soften, so go and rinse your legs. Yes. We've been here for three days already, and this place is so boring. It's okay, though. We'll find ways to keep ourselves entertained. You won't get bored with a kid like that. So quickly? <laughs> Come on, do it again. Back and forth, double time march. Yippee! It's the wrong time, ladies. I'm telling you. You have to fish early in the morning or late at night. That's when the fish are biting. <laughs> but tell me, Captain, how do the fish know what time it is? They know. Well, we can't go in the morning. Mornings are for sleeping in and dreaming. The fish have to understand that we're on vacation. And Gopher can't go at night. He'll fall asleep, right? How's it going, Mr. Fisherman? Are the fish biting? Mom, can you be quiet for five minutes? Gopher, are you allowed to talk to your mother like that? The kid's right. If you really want to catch something, quiet down for a bit. I think, I think I got one. How do you know? Reel it in. Reel it in. It'll slip away. Wow. Yay. <laughs> well done, Gopher. Tonight we'll call your dad and tell him we caught 10 fish that were all this big. You can't lie. But this isn't lying, it's just taking artistic liberty, right? Don't all fishermen talk like that? I don't know. Yes, they do. Okay, where will we fry it? No, Mom, we have to throw it back in the ocean, just like the old man in the goldfish story. Well, if that's what you want, then let it go. Ugh. Welcome back. Are you all right? Yes. Come on up. There you go. Everything okay? Let's go eat the fish. Come on, let's go. I don't understand how you could deal with that loser for so long. And his mother, too? <laughs> Why did you stay? There are so many like me. We know it's not really love, not really... Not really family, either. But you hope, you hope that he'll change. And you've got to understand the strange fear... that he won't make it alone. <laughs> Look, I'm begging you, Vera. Guys like these don't let themselves go after a divorce. They don't take to drinking and never quit. They're, they're completely different. The guys who give up everything for their wives do. And I'm sure that your Vodic will find his next poor fool soon, so don't worry about it. He already has. <laughs> really? <laughs> That's what I'm telling you. <laughs> yes, but you know, I sincerely wish him the best. Hmm? Though it certainly makes me sick. Hmm. Hmm. Can I go to sleep here, Mom? Baby boy's tired. Maybe it's time to mm. go to your room. He's got to be patient. He's got to learn to be a man. Are you a man? Mm hmm Good. Here's some ice cream, so deal with it. And we're having a very serious talk with Vera. <laughs> <laughs> you know, it feels like I'm being punished with these mama's boys. My first husband was the same. His mother didn't live in the same house as us, but she loved to constantly boss us around over the phone. <laughs> oh, great. <laughs> yeah. That was really something. You got lucky with Boris. I did. He loves me very much. Gopher and me. It's impossible not to love you. You are a hell of a woman. <laughs> Cheers. Women like you must be very happily married. Mm. And beyond that, I should get a medal. <laughs> <laughs> oh. 
Okay, I guess it really is time for us to look for our ride home. Let's go for a walk. I can carry Ilya for you. I'm strong. Don't even think about it. Get used to being weak, my friend. I'm calling a taxi. Get up! <laughs> Relax, it's just me. <laughs> what time is it? It's time for you to really be on vacation, Vera. And you're missing out. Get up. Get up, get up! Where are we going? To the right place. Do you have an evening dress? No, I only have seraphans. Uh, I knew it. Ta-da! This is for you. <laughs> I'm sure it'll fit. Come on, come on, get up, change. What's the Wait, hold up? give me a minute to wash up. Are you crazy? Washing up is for kittens, and real ladies wear makeup. This is also for you. Okay. I have extras of everything. How do I look? Okay, hmm, this is a challenge, but it's okay. We'll figure it out along the way. We'll at least do your hair for now. Okay. Mm. Hey, wait. What if Ilya wakes up and gets scared that you're gone? Don't worry. Everything's under control. If anything happens, the attendant will watch him. Oh. All right. Okay, let's get out of here. Let's take the balcony to the stairs. Why take the balcony? Do you want judgy looks behind your back? Let's go. Wait, I'll turn off the light. All inclusive. Oh. Okay, I'm down. Throw me your clutch. Did you bring the ladder? Who else could have brought it? Ooh, nice landing. Let's Listen, go. maybe you should go alone. I'll look after Ilya. Don't worry. All right, fearsome woman. Don't worry, it's not far. Elena, where are you taking me? Hmm? To the police force health retreat. <laughs> oh. So that we can find you a brave detective or, or a prosecutor. Yes, and this prosecutor will have an adoring mother. Elena, I'm not looking for anybody. I'm looking for you. You need to cheer up to feel desired. <laughs> so tell me, did your first husband also send his mother to break up with you for him? <laughs> no, he wrote me a letter. He broke up with me via email. <laughs> Let's go. Ooh. Careful. <laughs> Watch your legs. Hold okay. on. Careful on those heels, okay? So what did he write to you? Did he say he hated your <laughs> cooking or what? I don't understand. No, they asked me to sell my apartment so they could get a better one. Come on. Did you do it? No. Oh, thank God. For a minute, I thought you were really nuts or something. No, I had already put it up for sale, but my grandmother protested. This is her apartment. She's old. She lives with my mother. She said, do what you want when I'm dead, but as long as I live, I'm not going to let your husband con you. Well, at least your grandmother's a smart lady. <laughs> This is a dud. Oh, yes. <laughs> and I always thought officers yeah. came here with battle scars, but it's just a bunch of pensioners on a well-deserved holiday. Elena, let's go back to the hotel. Elias alone. Come on, it's okay. It's okay. I know how to rattle these old men up. Let's go. Good Hello. evening. <laughs> Bartender. Would you be so kind as to make this gorgeous girl a cocktail? You got it. The tastiest one you have. <laughs> Play something more festive. Okay. <laughs>
No, but I do help those who protect the law to preserve their mental health. Mm. Let me introduce myself. Vladimir Sergeyevich, not the prosecutor. <laughs> Vera. My pleasure. Vera, may I ask you to dance with me? Yes. All right. <laughs> Glad you said yes. You know, I wanted to see a psychologist recently. I was having a rough time. Then I came here and somehow I felt better. So did your girlfriend help you? She did. Hmm. I find her to be a very lively person. But watch yourself. Sometimes those who shine bright can burn you. Why should I be afraid? No, no, no. You don't need to be afraid. But you know, as far as I can see, you're a lot different. But you haven't even known me for five minutes. But I do know people. So you're telling me a young and temperamental woman must frighten you. <laughs> Are you a faithful husband? I'm a faithful widower. Oh, I'm so sorry. No, it's okay. It's okay, Vera. But you're wrong, Vladimir. Elena's not as frivolous as she may seem at first. It's just, life is raging inside her. I'd like to be more like her. Hmm. Why would you want that? I don't know. It's probably because I haven't been doing well lately. But everything feels fine when I'm with her. I mean, look at these people. They all came to life. They look younger. Elena left, and people are still excited. Yeah, yeah, you're right. I'm not going to spoil this party with my terrible <laughs> grumbling. <laughs> but Vera, will you promise me one thing? To be careful. Will you? I promise. Good morning. Good morning. Please come with me. Come along this way, please. Come on, come on, come over here. She wanted to be woken up when you arrived. Thank you. Elena, mm. Elena, wake up, please. It's me, Vera. Come on, oh. come on, come on. Come Vera. On. You recognize me, that's good. Vera, Vera, darling. Come on. Oh, Vera, honey, I'm so I know. sorry. They brought me here, I didn't. I didn't remember until I got there that you were there. I didn't have the strength to go back to you. Will you forgive me? Please, 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 please. <laughs> come on, come on, everything's fine. Come on, get up. Don't oh. forget her things! <laughs> Who's that? I don't know. <laughs> what stuff, is that yours? Mm -hmm. It's ours. <laughs> Let's go! Good, come on. <laughs> Do you really forgive me? I was me? waiting for you there for so long. You're a real friend. Let's go. Huh? Oh, oh Miss Dash. Elena, you see him every day. You. Please, let's go. What? What's Come on. This? It's an announcement. Hold on to me, please. These candies oh, no. these are for you. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen. Jeez, Elena. You see, we're gentlemen, by the way. There's Shh. no reason to yell at us. Excuse us, please. <laughs> Beginning July 2014. <laughs> Oh. 
Hello? Hello! Mom says that she doesn't want to go for a walk. Oh. Mm. And I brought you fruits? Mm. Do you want some? Why didn't you put the roses in water? They'll dry up. That's a pity. Mmm, they're so beautiful. Then give me that water and the roses. <laughs> oh. Oh. Now put them in. Mm. Oh. oh, that's better. I thought I was done for, that my head was going to explode. Does the princess need anything else? Oh. Do you know what I'm dreaming about now? For Boris to come here? Not even close. I'm wishing we'd inherit a million dollars. I would immediately make Boris leave that school and we'd go on an endless journey together. <laughs> Would you come with us? I don't like to travel very much. No way. Everyone loves it. Even the ancients migrated from place to place in search of a better life. They were looking for warmth and safety. And I dream about the same thing. I'm scared of the unknown in general. It's reassuring when you know what'll happen tomorrow. The next day, the next month. Nobody really knows what will happen tomorrow. Well, why is that? Tomorrow there'll be a storm. Everything's pointing to Shh. that. Not in front of him. Mm. He's already done my head in about wanting to go fishing again. Mm. Listen, move, huh? Because I can't turn my head. Ilya, you want an apricot? I do. <laughs> By the way, I've been wondering, why don't you have kids? I have a rare anomaly. I can't get pregnant. Anomaly? My first husband really wanted kids. Mm -hmm. I went through treatment. It didn't work. This is the one that wanted to take your apartment, right? Come on, Elena. It's not all about the apartment. And Vodik didn't want children. And as for me, I still wanted to have one. I saw doctors and more doctors. I thought that maybe if I had a baby, it could help fix our broken relationship, you know? I get it. Oh. oh we'll solve your problem. You are going to have a baby. Hmm? Mom! Quiet. You'll watch the rest tonight. Out. Come on, come on, come on. Mm. Go. You too. Where are we going? Kidnapping someone? Uh-huh. Right in front of the prosecutors and detectives. Come on, Don't tell follow me, that you me lost please. Something. In the state that you're in, I wouldn't be My surprised. Just a couple please. minutes of your time. We're just trying to look for it. We just want to go home. Nothing please. was Can lost. You just in let fact, us go? you're going to gain. I have dough waiting in <laughs> Please my help yourselves. We'll get everything done in time. We'll make the dough and everything. Is everybody here? Yes? Girls, please. I have just one little question. This girl right here is a wonderful new friend of mine, Vera. You all know her. Uh, <laughs> and the thing is, she really wants to have a child. Her doctors told her it's impossible, but medicine has advanced so much, and today, the impossible becomes possible. I have just one question for you. Which one of you wants to be the surrogate mother to her baby? Are you out of your mind? What are you doing? Vera, trust me. <laughs> Everything's gonna be fine. She's okay. <laughs> what, like Cristiano Ronaldo did, right? <laughs> but with who? Vasily the Watchman? Absolutely, Vasily. Let's call him. It's ridiculous. <laughs> I know it is. I like to joke too, but this is serious. Someone needs help. Besides, this is a chance to make money. I don't have any money. Don't worry Girls, about it. Girls, let's get out of here. <laughs> they must be playing a joke on us. And that's what people in Moscow do. Let's just go. But I'm not joking. I'm offering you a job, for real. Who would let her child go after nine months of suffering? I understand you. But please just hear me out. You'd live in Moscow for a year. Yeah, five years. <sighs> Savages. You're the Ugh. savage. 
You shouldn't have made a scene like that. So what should I do? Should I put a flyer on the wall? Damn it. Damn it, damn it, damn it. Do you think the rain will last very long? I did everything wrong. I shouldn't have started like this. I should have started by saying, first, that this is done all over the world, that whoever does it would be a hero, and that she'd live for a whole year in Moscow in her own apartment, not to mention make some money. I get it, though. If I were the one having the baby, I would never want to let it go. Yes, Boris. Everything's fine. The weather's good. It was raining in the morning, but now it's over. Now it's hot. Yeah, Gopher's fine. Yes, I'm a little upset. No, nothing happened. It's fine. No reason. I tried to help my new friend, and it didn't work. It didn't work. What can I say? Yes, she's here. OK. Boris wants to tell you something. Go ahead, she can hear you. Good afternoon, it's Boris. Good afternoon, Boris. I hope we'll meet in Moscow. I don't know what this is all about, but please excuse my wife. She's always trying to make the whole world happy, and sometimes she does it in silly ways. Don't say that. I don't take offense at all. You have a wonderful wife and such a great son. And he's very busy right now, building a sandcastle. Boris, I'll call you back later, OK? Hello. Do you mind if I sit down? Yes, of course. Have a seat. You're Zena, right? Yes. I just don't want everyone to hear me. Go ahead. I'm four months pregnant. My boyfriend, he... We fought and he... He left. He said it's over. And he's never coming back. My mind's made up about the baby. I just... I know I need to do this. We do. We need it badly. Go on. Look, I can't manage a baby on my own. You know I can't. I need, I need to take care of my father and my disabled brother. They're both alcoholics. The doctor thinks it's a girl from the sonogram. How could I keep her? It's a girl. Please, don't worry. Everything's gonna be all right, okay? Don't worry. I don't worry. want pity. Think about it and let me know what you decide. <sighs> okay, so make her quit now and take her to Moscow. You can live in your apartment, live quietly, don't talk to your neighbors, make sure she gets all her fruits and vitamins, and a home birth would be best for you. Uh, I know an excellent midwife. She worked with one of my friends. And as soon as the child is born, she's all yours. Is that possible? Why not? I don't know. Look, if you don't know, then that's your issue. Do you want me to ask someone for you? I'm sure there wouldn't be any problems. The midwife will write you up an official document when the child is born. Mm. Wait, sex. You take it to the registry office or something, and you pay her, and she goes home, and you're a mom. Hmm. What if she changes her mind? Where would she take the kid? To her drunk family? Vera, look, children's clothes. Let's go. Oh, Elena, Elena, let's do it later. I'm really nervous. All right. I kind of envy you. A little girl. You'll get to dress her up in pink and gold. She'll grow up like a princess. <laughs> you drive me crazy. So what? That's how friends are. You have to live your life, not let it live you. <laughs> and make her take dance lessons when she's older. Or no, figure skating. It's very popular now. And you and Ilya and Boris will all come visit us. Ilya will be like an older brother to her. He's the right age. He'll protect her. Um, Vera, you know, I, I have to get going. Will you take over home? Yeah. Police retreat? I have no business there. <laughs> I actually went to try to find you a guy. I'm just meeting, I'm meeting with an old friend. We bumped into each other and he wants to catch up, so. <laughs> I won't be long, okay? Yeah, yeah, bye. Mm -hmm.
<laughs> you little monkey. Watch it. <laughs> You're a sneaky one. Watch out, ahoy! <laughs> what does ahoy mean? It's something pirates say. I don't know exactly what it means, but they seem to say it a lot, and it gets everybody excited. Mom and me are going fishing tomorrow. Do you want to come? Oh, no, 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 no. Go fishing without me. I get seasick. I'll end up with bad nausea and headaches. I don't get sick at all. I don't get seasick. I don't get river sick, and I don't get play sick. <laughs> when I grow up, I'm going to marry my mom. Why your mom? Because she's the best and the most beautiful in the world. <laughs> Wind speeds may reach 70 miles per hour. A small craft advisory is in effect. We repeat. Go for it, come here. Come, come, come. Swim, swim. Looks like fishing is canceled. But why, Vera? Everyone's talking about the storm. It doesn't matter. We're going, we're going, we're going, we're going. No, 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 no. calm down. Why are you yelling? She Shush, shh, stop. No one can go fishing during the storm. The fish swim to the very bottom and sit there quietly. Then I guess I'll sit quietly like a fish, too. Take it easy, Vera. gopher. Vera! Vera, I'm sorry to bother you. It's Look, okay. something happened. Really? What is it? My boyfriend called me. Yeah? He's back. He asked me to oh. forgive him. Everything is going to be okay now. <laughs> oh, that's great. Oh, yeah. I wish you the best. Thank you. Thank you. I'm such an idiot. But it was my fault, and he really is a good guy. I drove him away, that's all. Yeah, oh, wow. that is good. Yeah, Vera, no, you're so kind. No, 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 no. I'm sure that everything will work out. Everything's gonna work out for you, I know it. Trust me. I'm not so sure. Oh, I'm sorry, I have to go. Please excuse me. fishing after all. And I say that we are going. So who's telling the truth? Well, why are you yelling? Didn't I tell you we would go if the weather is good? I tried explaining to him that nobody can go fishing during the storm, but he won't listen. I'm gonna call Dad and tell him that you said we're going and you lied to me. Okay. Call him. Just let me dry you off. Here you go. Ugh. All right. And what about you? Why are you so sad? No, it's just Zena came and said that she and her boyfriend got back together and everything was fine between them. I guess this means I'm not getting a daughter. That's all right. We'll find another way. At least she told you right away. Mom, here. What? What is it? Yes, I understand. I get it, but he's having a fit. What can I do? <sighs> of course. It's going to be storming by evening. Maybe we'll have time to swim tomorrow morning. Mm -hmm.
to happen? I don't know. What can, can they be? What can they be? I don't know. What's going on? What's going on? I'm scared. What's happening? How can we find them? What happened? Oh, my God. Someone tell her. They warned her that a storm was coming. Oh, my God. They, they said that they were So then why did she take the boy? Don't you understand? They're dead. The boat crashed into the rocks. They're both dead. Someone needs to call her husband and tell her. They're both dead. What him? Tell him there's no use. Boris won't leave until he finds their bodies. Five days. Five days we've been searching. You're getting paid, aren't you? There's no point in this. Please try to understand. I'm no crook. Why would I take his money? We're human, aren't we? The man is grieving. Why would I take his money? It's the sea. It's not a lake. People who drown here don't turn up. Can't you understand that? Would you please be quiet? Ilya was really good at making sausages at picnics. He would cook hot dogs for all of us. Have you seen him do that? Can't say I did. Then what should we do? Somebody should tell him about this. You should ask the professor if you can't do it. So, have you heard anything? No, nothing yet. Oh, did he tell you that he had a whole snail collection at home? No, he didn't. Well, what did he tell you then? What did you guys talk about? Oh, what do people usually talk about? Well, they talk about a lot of things. He mentioned you a lot. 
Like Dad said, my dad thinks this, or we need to call Dad. Grab him! <gasps> Come on, oh. grab him! Help! Come on, help them! Take him, grab here! Get him out! Enough, swim back here! Quickly, come on! Come on! Right now! You can do it, guys! You can do it, guys. Quickly! Be careful, don't fall down. Put him here. What's wrong? Tell me what's wrong. Ugh, I almost died. Sorry, man. The air regulator broke. Let me catch my breath and I'll dive back out. You don't need to dive anymore. That's all. Thank you all. Sorry, but I'm gonna go. It'll be faster for me by train. Wait, you're leaving? And where do you live? Um. I'm sorry, you can go ahead. You spent so much time with me already. Um, uh, if you want, maybe I can take you home? Would you do that? Yes. Guys. Mr. Andreevich, we agreed to watch your apartment and water the flowers while you were gone. We didn't know when you'd be back. I hope that everything's okay. Class, I'd like you to meet uh, Vera. She was a friend of my wife's. These are my students. Hello. Hello. This is Anya, Tanya, Motya and Anton. Hey, I've told you about him. He scared the whole town when he went missing a few years ago. And I helped find him. So I found you, Anton, and I couldn't find my own son. Guys, would you help us with the luggage? Yes, of course. Thank you. Ilya and Elena's coats were right here. Where are they now? We took them upstairs when Anya and I were cleaning the well, apartment. Well, you shouldn't have done that, Tanya. <sighs> Mr. Andreevich, is there anything that we can do to help? Nothing. <sighs> Thank you for coming, guys. It's not easy to be around someone who's grieving. You're all very brave. Thank you very much. If you don't mind, can we drop by every day to visit you? No need. When will you be back at school? Tomorrow. But you'll come? I'll come tomorrow. We're so <laughs> sorry. Goodbye. 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 Nice to Goodbye. 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 Um, Boris, I guess I should go too. I'm sorry, Vera. 
but could you please help me put everything back? Um, yes, of course. Mm -hmm. Thank you. I left for school. I'll be home by five o'clock. If you can stay, please do. We haven't talked much about them. It's really important to me. What an interesting woman she was. Everything about her. Goodness, what is this world coming to? Very intelligent. And she was so welcoming, too. Not like some of the others. Mm-hmm. She always gave my grandson some of her son's clothes. They were always clean and new. Some of them still had the price tag. And where is he now? Has he come back? Yesterday, I could hear him through the wall. And he left in the morning for school. It'll be really good for him to keep busy. Oh, goodness. Mm -hmm. How could anyone deal with this? He lost them both in one day. Awful. Yeah. Excuse me. Who are you looking for? I'm looking for Boris. Oh, are you a relative of Elena or Boris? I'm a friend. Just a friend.
Well, isn't she quite the clever girl? Yes. They're getting smart these days. Hello? Yes, Larissa. Uh, yes, yes, I'm back. I got some rest. Didn't get too lucky with the weather. I'm just a little hoarse, unfortunately. Say hi to Lena for me. I'll be back at work tomorrow, okay? Okay, bye. Uh -huh. Hello, hello, come in. Boris isn't home, but he'll be back soon. No, he won't. He locked himself in the classroom and won't let anyone in. I thought you could help if I could still find you here. Did he say anything? Nothing. He taught three classes, and when we came back from the break, he'd locked himself in already. Motia says he's alone. The guys wanted to go through the window, but the principal won't let them. What floor? Fourth. Can you take me there? Yes. The assistant principal says we need Come to on. call the police, but the principal won't. The principal's a good guy. He feels bad for Mr. Andreevich. To be honest, he's the one who told us to take the toys. Why don't they break down the door? How could they? It's Mr. Andreevich's office. All his books and stuff are in there. You'll see. Mr. Andreevich is the one who taught us to act with dignity in any situation, whatever you feel, good or bad. And there's no one who feels worse than Mr. Andreevich right now. It's locked. He locked it from the inside. What should I do? Break it? Well, just wait. I, I don't know. Well, I could break it, but it's up to you. Mr. Andreevich, how are you doing? You see? You see what you've done? We told you, you were supposed to be gentle. Uh, nobody did anything. We were all quiet. He just gave us an essay to write. About what? It was a love poem by young Mayakovsky. I told him to take some time off, but he said he felt better around the children. Excuse me. Can I try to talk to him? Yes, yes, of course. Please, excuse me. No, please go ahead. Boris? It's me, Vera. Will you open up, please? Boris, remember how you wanted me to tell you about Ilya and Elena? We went fishing together. There were no fish at first, and Ilya was very upset. He was even rude to his mother. I had to stand up for her. I told him not to speak to his mother like that. And suddenly his fishing line started moving, and when he reeled it in, he'd hooked a big fish, like one to be really proud of. And he was so happy. And then he said to Elena, Mom, we should let it go. Like the man with the golden fish. And he did. Forgive me, please. Uh, I just needed to be alone. Please come in, class. Oh, Mr. Andreevich. Oh, no. It seems everything's okay. It's okay, let's go. Back to class, everyone, it's fine. Come on, everyone, off to class now. Everything is okay. Okay, it's okay. Let's Will go. you stay for the lesson? It's okay. Okay. Do you think that it was raving malaria? Well, it was. It was in Odessa. I'll come by four, said Maria. Eight. Nine. Ten. That evening, the night horror left all of the windows. A gloomy December. And taunting me with light was a candelabra. I now could not be recognized. 
the greasy hulk groaning and writhing. What else could such a monster want? I want... <clears throat> Do you have a job? Yes. What is it? I work for an airline. It's nothing exciting. I sell tickets. What did you study? I studied... at the Aviation Institute, but I never graduated. I got married and had to work. Then I got divorced. And I never went back. Let's go. Come on, don't be afraid. Don't be afraid. It's okay. <clears throat> Good evening. Good evening. Is Boris here? In the kitchen. Boris, stay strong. It happens, man. <sighs> Thank you. <gasps> Boris. Thank you. Vladimir, I'm glad you answered. Hello. This is Vera. Do you remember me? Uh, you know, I'm not home right now. Uh, how about I drop something off and head your way? What's your address? I'll take a taxi and I'll meet you there. Uh-huh. Okay. Thank you. I'm on my way. Mm-hmm. He's completely shut himself off. It was all he could do not to yell at the students that were waiting for him at his apartment. After going through this kind of loss, that's an absolutely normal reaction for someone to have. So what's an abnormal reaction? It's probably best that you don't find out, Vera. I'm worried about him. I got him to unlock his classroom today, but people must have been thinking that he was dead in there. I've talked to Boris several times. I've been watching him for days. He'll find a way to get through this. Believe me, he's capable of that. But you... Go! I'm more worried about you, Vera. I'm worried. About me? I'm worried that you're taking on someone else's pain. It's not a good thing. It's not normal. It's bad. <laughs> Why is that bad? Well, while it's very noble of you to care about the pain of others, you still have to live your own life. You have to create your own joy, your own happiness. 
And you, you already have a wonderful life. But you have to know that. And I'm not sure you do. <laughs> so do you think that one lonely person can't help another? <laughs> it's human nature to want to help others, whether they're lonely or not. But the problem that arises is when people get lost and sacrifice themselves, compromising their own mental health. It's a very delicate balance. And uh, I just want you to be sure to take care of yourself. Okay, yeah, okay. Thank you, I'll make sure to remember that. Can I ask you something? Uh, do you think you could give Boris a call? Just, just to talk with him for a little bit. Wait, do you think there's some magic cure-all that could help him? I wish stopping his pain were that easy. All right. Consider the problem. Our Boris needs to find himself. Only he can personally come to terms with the pain he's feeling. And as soon as he can do that, then he'll be able to deal with life and move on. You in a hurry? A little bit. Well, it's been good seeing you. I've really enjoyed talking with you, Vera. Please keep in touch. I'm just a call away. Don't be afraid to yes. call me if you ever need yes, me. Yes, of course. Vera, I really care about you. Thank you very much. Goodbye. Put you back outside. Do you want me to put you back outside? You are so dirty. Absolutely filthy. Leave the flowers alone and don't climb on the curtains. Do you hear me? Mom? Hello? Mom, I knew it was you. You always call me at this time, and I always ask you not to because I'm getting ready to leave for work. How are you doing? I'm okay. Trying to teach the cats some manners. Is there any news? What kind of news do you want to hear? You know what I'm talking about. Don't you think you should move back home? You're not having much luck in Moscow. Mom, everything is great. Have you filed for divorce? Yes, I have, and you know that. I'm going to hear back in a month. What's the weather like? Why are you so rushed? Mom, but it's not me. It's Vadik. You won't fight for your happiness at all. I don't, and neither do you. We're non-confrontational. The weather is bad. Bear, you are so unlucky. No, Mom, listen. I'm not as unlucky as you think. Okay, Mom, I gotta go. Bye. Love you. You be good, okay? Oof. Excuse me, miss. Are you in a hurry? I am. Maybe you and I could have a cup of coffee? And you can say you got caught in traffic or something? <laughs> I'd like to start the day with something good. <laughs> like with a lie? <laughs> <laughs> Why? Did you ever find the tickets I asked you to look for? Yes, these are your two choices, sir. Well? The first flight leaves at 6 a.m. No, 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 no. You know me. I'm not a morning person. <laughs> the other one is at 2 p.m., but it has a three-hour layover in Frankfurt. Frankfurt is better. Mm-hmm. I got lost there once. Really. Ah. So, uh, I don't have the best impression mm -hmm. of it. Mm-hmm. Uh, let me see what else I can find. And I'll give you a call when I have something for you. I okay. have your number, all right? I'll talk to you okay, then. Okay, that's great. Talk soon. Have a good day. Goodbye. Goodbye. Goodbye, thank you.
Clarissa, what happened? He didn't come home last night? Oh, uh, I don't know what's worse. He came home wasted with a friend. I wish he'd join the army. Why? Isn't he a student? Seriously. He dropped out. What? When? While you were on vacation, he came to me and said, it's not for me. Oh, what a fool. But Larissa, he's a good-looking kid. Go I know, like I him. know. He'll find a wife. <gasps> yes, Larissa, look. Yes, he... he dropped out. It's obvious it's a bad move, but it's not the end of the world. It's the end for me. <laughs> Is he gonna find a job? Stop it. Listen, I can talk to Matt Vey. They're looking for young people for entry-level stuff. He's smart, isn't he? It's there. Time. You talk to Matt Vey about getting married. There. I can't. I can't. And what about you? What? Should I talk to my cat? <laughs> <laughs> you talk to your cat every day. <laughs> you need to go out somewhere and meet a, a nice single man. I don't know, somewhere. And go out on a real, uh, a real date. Vera, we're having something for Matt Bay's birthday today. There'll be a lot of people there. No, 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 I don't like this. You know I don't. Vera, come on, seriously. There really will be a lot of people, and I could honestly use all the help I can get. Do you think you could come over and help me? Oh, well, y yes, yes, of course, of course, of course I can. <laughs> Done. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yay! Yay! Happy birthday! Yay! Happy birthday! Happy birthday! Happy birthday! Happy birthday! Happy birthday! Happy birthday! Thank you. Thanks, everyone. Yeah. Oh, thank you. Girls, girls, why don't you give him a kiss? He bottoms up. <laughs> <laughs> well, Victoria, mm. give me a kiss. Mm. Mm. This is some good. Thank you. Hey, cheers. Happy birthday, man. Cheers. Thank you. Come on. Come on, we'll get a shot. Oh. Uncle Boria, let's sing our song. Okay, okay. That's good. Mm. That's good stuff. Janice, will you pour me another one? <laughs> oh, wait, wait. And He's now, ladies and gentlemen, oh, okay. here we go. Okay. Uncle How rude of them. We weren't introduced. I'm Sergey. Uh, Vera. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. I made coffee. If you'd like to have some with me. A Turkish friend of mine taught me how to make it like this. I met him when I was reporting about Kurdistan. I'd love to. Shall we? Yeah. <laughs> have you seen Lena? She went to her room. Huh? Come on, follow me and let's make that coffee, shall we? Okay. Sugar, cinnamon, black pepper. Sugar, cinnamon, black pepper. Why did you leave? I didn't think you'd notice. What's going on? You haven't even looked at me. Lena, please don't start this now. Do you love me? Or am I just some fling? Lena, 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 we're all hey. temporary. Life is temporary. What's wrong? Hmm? Hmm? <laughs> Tell me. Stop. <laughs> mm. 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 Do you like it? It's really good. I'm glad. I have to go. Can I join you? Or uh... um sure. Is there something you want to ask me? Yes, but I don't know how. Maybe there's something you want to know about a friend of yours and a friend of mine? There is. Well, now that you mention it. Do you think they'll get married? Lena's really worried about it. 
Are things going that badly with Matvey? No, quite the opposite. Things are going great. That's why she really wants to have a family, have children, and a home. Why are women always in such a hurry? That's how you take <laughs> something good and screw it up, putting a label on it. <laughs> I heard that you've been married twice. That's right. And both marriages were really bad. <laughs> so you get it. I'm on my own, too. I just see my daughter on weekends. Are you happy? I don't know if there is such a thing as true happiness, but I have peace and I have freedom. And I can't get used to it. I wake up at 3 a.m. every night to get my daughter to the potty. But there's no potty and no daughter. And then I can't sleep. What about you? Any kids? No. I don't, but I don't think there's anything I wouldn't do to have one. <laughs> <laughs> is that right? I'm going to get a taxi. <laughs> Can I get your number? 891-6507. Thanks for walking me. You know, the plane left two minutes early. I missed an important meeting all on account of Please. you. Please, you happen to be Please. a very sir, angry person. Why are you person. speaking to me like Why that? Why are you sir, speaking to me I'm speaking like normally. Sir, that customer is always right. Sir, if you well, could just calm down. what is the down. problem here? Everyone is going to calm down and we're going to discuss this. Is that okay? Thank you. Oh my goodness. Your ticket can't be returned and it can't be exchanged. I warned you about this when you purchased it. You chose the lowest fare. I chose I the lowest to, fare? You're the one now who you chose the cheapest me. fare. And you were the terms? one who agreed yes. to the terms. Yes, I can read. It was in You'll writing. you hearing from my lawyer. So you remember. How dare you? How oh. dare you? <laughs> I can't wait. I hope he's as pleasant as you are. God, what a day. No coffee, no time to take a break. It started off okay. Vera. What? Matt Faye told me that Sergei really liked you. He wants to take you out. Uh, Vera? What do you say? <laughs> Vera, what do you think? Come <laughs> on, Vera. Mm. An international journalist who makes his own money and doesn't need mommy. Vera, give him a shot. He's so handsome. And he can take care of himself. Well, <sighs> why can't I'm I come sorry, in? What? The problem? We're closed. You can't come in. Vera? But it says on your website that you're open until 8 p.m. And that's not for another 10 minutes. We're closed. Come back tomorrow. Don't understand. I need to come in. Come back tomorrow. Excuse me. He's here for me. It's okay. Beer, hi. Hi, Boris. Um, <laughs> let's go outside. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Vera. Oh. Don't forget your bag. Thank you. Ready? Yeah. Uh, the exit's downstairs. <laughs> Would you look at that? <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> uh, I'm sorry I just showed up like that. I must have scared your security guard. <laughs> A bit. It's weird, I don't really drink. I don't like being drunk. It's just... It's just to help me sleep. How did you find me? Uh, Elena had told me where you worked. It's good to see you. I wanted to ask you if maybe, uh, on your phone... you had pictures of Elena and Ilya? No, I'm sorry. None at all? Mm. I... I didn't take any. The battery on my phone was running really low, and I'd forgotten my charger back at home, so... I was thinking about you a lot. Really? Why haven't you come to visit? I... I was embarrassed. I mean, who am I to you? What do you mean? You're... You're the last connection I have to them. Boris... You want me to tell you about Elena and Ilya, but... But... I don't know what to say. I wish that I had something to give you. 
I wish I could remember every word, every minute. We never know what the future holds, unfortunately. I'm so glad you came. I've just been too afraid to impose on you. It's so funny, it's almost like... We forgot how to communicate. How to make friends. I don't know what kind of husband I was to Elena. Maybe not a great one, but I'm sure... I'm a good friend. Really. A good one. This museum was created by a very enthusiastic teacher. Her best friend and all of her students. Do they study Postovsky at school? I don't remember. It depends on the teacher. Besides, you don't need to learn about him at school to know him. Guys, have you read Postovsky? I have. I really enjoyed it. I did too. I did a report about him and how he defended Yuri Lubivmov and Solzhenstin. That's great. You don't know who that is, do you? Well, I haven't actually. Tanya. I've told you, you can't measure intelligence by how much more you know than someone else. What's smart is knowing not to look down on other people. I'm sorry. Well, I'm not offended. I'm actually surprised. And I admire how clever and well-read you are. Well, Mr. Andreevich has been our teacher since fifth grade. All right. You can save all your compliments for the bus ride back. We're here. Mr. Andreevich, I don't like Paustoski. It, it just mm -hmm. looks like a bunch of doodles. <sighs> I can't take him anymore. It's unbearable. Why, Why does he always have to be against work. everything? If I work really hard, maybe I can be a sculptor. <laughs> What's going on? She's in love with I Anton. Mean, I but he's so difficult. In my room. Have you known Mr. Andreevich for long? No. Did you know him before no, he was married? No, we met very recently. So and did you think that his wife was a very beautiful woman? Yes, she was very beautiful. I wasn't sure, but when I talked to my mom, I remember she... Shut up. Why? My mother told me that nobody could stand her when they were married. She said that she was so selfish, a total nightmare. So bad that no one would even want to go Tanya, around Tanya. her, and then... You know that you shouldn't speak like that about the dead. And we can take a... What's Mr. Andreevich? It's five o'clock. You told us to keep track. Let's move on. Right. Anton, I knew I could count on you. All right, let's go, class. This is so cool. Yep, here it is. Elena enjoyed it very much. <laughs> we bought it cheap, but had to fix it up. That was pretty expensive. We were going to drive it out to the country. We wanted to buy a house there. But we weren't able to save up enough money. And now I don't need it. But did you drive it? Just a couple of times, but not really. It's easier to get to school on foot. Elena would drive it all the time. Uh, want to take it for a spin? Well, I don't know, maybe. Well, then how about we go right now? <laughs> uh, oh, no, no. I need to get some practice on my own first. I can't put you at risk. I can't even remember which pedal does what. Come on, let's do it. I know how it's done. We'll do it together. Everything will be okay. Well, why not? Sure, I'll give it a try. <laughs> oh, careful. <laughs> <laughs> 
Look, I know I'm not a professional driver. I feel like I'm a little kid again on a roller coaster. Come on, I know my driving isn't that bad. You're right, Boris. And what should we do if a driver wants to take a nap? You know what? We should turn on the radio. Nope, sorry. If you're going to be my passenger, then you have to have a conversation with me. About Elena? About yourself. You haven't told me anything yet. Uh, what do you want to know? Absolutely everything. Well, for starters, I'm not a very happy woman. Well, why not? I don't know. I've been this way since I was a kid. Oh, watch out, be oh, careful. Oh. oh, my God. <laughs> were you grounded for bad grades and not allowed to see any of your friends? No, my grades were fine, but my mom would work late. My father didn't live with us. Uh, it's just how it was. And what was the happiest day of your life? Oh, ah! oh, oh, man. Oh, be careful. Oh, uh, uh, to say it, but we blew a tire. <laughs> yes, hello, Sergey? Yes, I remember. No, I'm not at home. I don't know what time I'll be home. Sorry, I have to turn down a date. I'm in love with someone else. And I have to admit that it's absolutely crazy. I'm sorry. <laughs> 